What's up, happy gamers? I'm happy, the happy gamer, and welcome back to Would You Rather. You guys know how this game works, but it's essentially what I play whenever I want to take a break from, like, regular series and indie games and stuff like that. It's just a nice, refreshing, like, step off the, off the normal path, you know. So here we go. Would you rather watch Batman 1989 or watch The Dark Knight 2008? Great question to start out this Would You Rather. Batman 1989 by Tim Burton. I loved the Tim Burton Batmans when I was growing up, even though they were really dark and it was probably really inappropriate for me to watch them. But I love them anyway. Then Chris Nolan came along and made the Dark Knight series. And crap, that man is a genius. I'm just saying. Chris Nolan is a film genius. So, heck yeah, watch The Dark Knight. Not just because of it being Batman and like a cooler Batman or whatever like that. Just, it's just so, it's just so good. It's just made so well. It's just a movie that just, oh, it just kicks me in the butt every time I watch it. So here we go, watch Dark Knight. Most people agree, obviously, I'll be freaking usly. Would you rather always dress like royalty or always dress like a pimp? Okay, so that's pretty close because pimps, you know, they wear all the gold chains and they got, they got the purple all over the place, so they kind of look similar. But somehow, still, there's an obvious difference between a pimp and royalty. When you see a king versus a pimp, you know, a pimp's usually got a cane with a dollar bill sign on it, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Dollar bill sign doesn't make sense. Dollar sign. So I think that I would rather always dress like royalty, mainly because I would rather people see me as a king than a pimp. Because being a pimp, guys, even though in pop culture and all that, it's like cracked up to be this really cool thing. Maybe? Is it still? I don't know. I don't look into like where pimp is at on the pop culture cool scale. I don't really look into that much. So I'd rather dress like royalty for sure. Most people would, that's good. So maybe that's where pop culture is now. <laughs> would you rather run 26 miles or swim five miles? Hmm. Well, I run two miles almost every day. I haven't here lately. I need to catch up on that again. But uh, for a while I was running two miles every day, sometimes four. So running isn't a big deal for me. Five miles swimming is a long flipping time. Seriously, swimming is really, 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 really tiring and really like, it's, it's hard on your body, but it's really good exercise. So I think I'd rather swim just because it's really good exercise. Wow, that's perfectly balanced. Like it's literally less than a thousand off. I can see how those would be close, yeah, for sure. Would you rather live in Boston or live in New York City? I don't care. New York, sure, whatever. <laughs> would you rather only eat breakfast cereal or only eat pasta? Okay, I think I would rather only eat breakfast cereal because when you eat pasta, it expands in your body. So you can eat like a bowl of pasta and then after you get done eating that pasta, it's gonna feel like you ate like five bowls of pasta. And I think cereal might do that a little bit inside of you because of what it is. But if I could only eat breakfast cereal and be able to choose the kind of cereal that I eat, like maybe Kashi or something like that, that would be awesome. But pasta, I'm just not a big pasta eater, guys. Seriously, I'm probably the only one in my family who's not a big pasta eater. And it's for that reason, because every time I eat pasta, I just feel like absolute crap. I feel like someone just ran over me with a steamroller and then they took me and tried for about an hour to shake me out back into shape and then after that I wasn't fully back into shape so they just started punching on my body for a little bit to try and get it into shape and then they did massage muscle relaxing therapy on me that really was painful because okay anyway I would rather only eat breakfast cereal <laughs> Okay, people would rather eat pasta. Well, we're all a bunch of fatties. <laughs> it's okay, that's all right. Would you rather have a significant other that doesn't speak or have a significant other that doesn't listen? Ooh, this is rough. This is rough. Wow, this is really rough. Oh, this is a hard decision. Oh, this is a hard decision. Would I rather her not speak or not listen? Oh, this is so tough because I want to hear from her, you know, I want her to be able to say what's on her mind and say what she's thinking. Well, I don't know, gosh dang it, she's gonna watch this video later and I'm gonna be in the doghouse. Don't speak or don't listen, I don't know. I would rather her be able to speak, honestly. I think I would rather her be able to speak because I want to hear from her, you know? Even if she can't hear me because she's more important than I am. That's how it should be. Look at that! People, <laughs> People would rather them not speak, that says a lot about relationships, but you guys see where I'm coming from, right? It's not about me. Would you rather never be able to feel emotions or never be able to express 
emotions. Ooh, that one's hard. What is up with all these questions? These are hard questions today. I don't know if I'd rather never be able to feel emotions or never be able to express them. That's really tough. Gosh dang it. Okay, to be emotionless and never be able to feel emotions, that would be terrible. But to feel them and then not be able to express them, that would be worse, okay? This is what happens. Like, you bottle stuff up and it just makes you a terrible person. And not being able to express those emotions would cause you to, like, you might kill yourself if you can't express your emotions. Seriously, that's what leads to suicide nowadays. Is people bottle all these, these emotions up, they feel like nobody wants to listen to them, and then the next thing you know, they don't want to be here anymore. So I think I'd rather never be able to feel emotions. Man, this is tough. Let's go with that. Most people would rather never be able to express them. I don't think people are understanding the impact that this can have on a person, not being able to express emotions. A lot of people like to bottle things up, and that's just, that's not, that's not healthy, guys. Don't bottle things up. Talk to people about how you're feeling. Be vulnerable. Be transparent. That's the way to go right there. You gotta tell people, guys. Would you rather get one million dollars or find true love? Well, if we're talking present day, I already found true love, so I'd rather get one million dollars. <laughs> a lot of people haven't found true love. It's really sad. I'm sorry, but true love is equal to a million dollars. It's equal to a billion dollars, trillion, quadrillion. Numbers I can't express right now. This is a very relationship-centered episode of Would You Rather. This is very romantic. I'm kind of feeling like a candlelight dinner later. Would you rather cut off your right hand or cut off your left hand? Well, I use my right hand more, so I'd rather cut off my left hand, right? Most people are right-handed, and that's why they'd rather cut off their left hand. This is kind of a terrible uh, question because people are just going to answer whatever hand they don't use. So there's not really a dilemma there. It's like, yeah, well, if I have to cut off one of them, I'd rather cut off the one that I don't use that much. Would you rather have to sleep three hours every day or have to sleep 15 hours every day? Three. You know why? Because I think sleeping sucks. I think sleeping is overrated. I wish that we were created as people who didn't have to sleep all the time. I think it's a waste of time. I could be doing so much in the seven or eight hours that I'm asleep and it stinks that I have to lay down and close my eyes and do nothing for that long. It's so non-productive, unproductive. Is that whatever word that would be? Seriously, and I know that I need it. I'm not saying that I don't need sleep and all that because I know it's necessary. You know, if you want to be productive, you need to get more sleep. But I think sleeping sucks, seriously. So I'd rather have to sleep three hours every day. Wow, that's pretty close. Man, to have to sleep 15 hours every day, you're only leaving yourself nine extra hours in your day. And if you had to sleep 15 hours every day, and then you had to go to a little eight to five job, you're looking at one hour left. One hour, man, that would stink. You'd pretty much use that hour to get ready for bed. <laughs> All right, let's get home from work and now I'm gonna shower and maybe put some food in my belly and then get in bed. That would stink. Would you rather have no tongue or have no teeth? Huh. Oh. Ah, yeah. Okay, so having no tongue would cause you to have speech problems and having no teeth would cause you to have speech problems. So you're gonna have speech problems either way. But the question is, would you rather not be able to taste or not be able to chew? I'd rather not be able to taste because if I can't chew, I'm gonna choke and die. Straight up. There you go, so I'd rather have no tongue. People don't understand. You're not thinking about this, people. If you have no teeth, you can't chew. Well, unless you go get dentures. Dang it, I answered that one wrong. I'd rather have no teeth, because then I could still taste and I could just go get dentures. Crap on a monkey's face. I don't know what I was thinking, guys. I'm sitting here calling everybody else stupid because they're answering dumb answers, and then I go and answer, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm stupid. Would you rather be a heavy smoker or a heavy drinker? Skip! I'm just joking. Okay, uh, a lot of people die from uh, drunk driving accidents. That's, that's definitely the truth. So being a heavy drinker would stink. Not many people die from being a heavy smoker, except the fact that if you're smoking in public, uh, people do die from secondhand smoke. But I think that it's less often than... I don't know, I'd have to look up the statistics on that, but I, I'm pretty sure it's less often than drunk driving accidents. I think I'd rather be a heavy smoker. Whoa, people chose heavy drinker. Okay then, I don't even know why, I'm not. I was confused by that one anyway, I don't really, I just didn't want to answer it. It made me feel all weird and stuff. I didn't really feel like answering it. Would you rather eat fruit roll-ups or eat fruit by the foot? This question has boggled my mind ever since I was a child. Do I want fruit roll-ups? Or do I want fruit by the foot? They're both essentially the same thing, but one of them has a different name than the other. 
the difference is there. I don't know. I'd rather eat fruit by the foot because the name sounds better. Most people would rather eat fruit roll-ups. Okay, whatever. Would you rather never be able to eat Chipotle again or never eat dessert again? Well, if you guys don't know what Chipotle is, you might not have one where you live or where you're from, but Chipotle is a restaurant where you can go in. It's just this line of people who want to make you burritos. Like, and there are these big burritos that are literally the size of a newborn baby. I'm not even joking. Like, if you want to learn how to hold a new baby, just go to Chipotle and order a burrito. And you'll, you'll get some pretty good practice. But I'm a dessert guy. I like candy. I like ice cream. I like all that stuff that's really terrible for me. Even though my wife and I eat pretty healthy, usually, we still like dessert a lot. So I think I'd rather never be able to eat Chipotle again. You know, they're both terrible for you because Chipotle's I mean, it's just, it's a baby-sized burrito, guys. No, I don't mean kid size, like kid's menu. No, I mean it's literally the size of a baby. Most people would rather never eat Chipotle again. I mean, that makes complete sense. You're giving up burritos or you're giving up everything dessert. Seriously. Would you rather be barefoot for the rest of your life or wear Crocs for the rest of your life? Ugh! Okay, this... Every time I think of Crocs, I just get immediately grossed out. And I'm sorry if you wear Crocs, like I'm not saying this about you, but for some reason, when I see people wearing Crocs, I literally, you, you know when you smell something the first time, and every time you see anything related to that, you can almost smell it, even though you aren't actually smelling it, because it's in your head, you remember the smell. I mean, the nose is really powerful like that, and actually some of your best memories are held in your the senses of your nose. And so it's like, anytime I see somebody wearing Crocs, I just immediately smell dirty feet. Like dirty, stinky, rotten, haven't been washed in like months feet, you know? And you look at the feet and they're all, they got cracks in them and dirt everywhere and the toenails haven't been groomed and stuff. And So that's what I think every time I see somebody wearing Crocs, like, oh, they're going to take those off later and they're going to have to put them in the freezer or something because they're going to stink like nobody's business. <laughs> And then being barefoot is also kind of gross for me. I'm not like extremely grossed out by feet, but I don't want to like put them in my face or anything, you know? But being barefoot to me wouldn't be as bad as wearing Crocs because there's not the area in there for it to become really humid and sweaty and stinky and everything. And being barefoot, at least you would get some air to that crap. I mean, for real. So I'd rather be barefoot for the rest, for the rest of my life. And eventually my feet would end up callous like a hobbit and I'd be able to walk on whatever I want. So there you go. Most people will agree with me. Would you rather own a baby otter or own a messenger owl? Oh my gosh. Ever since I watched Harry Potter, I never read the books and I know I'm a, I'm a heathen for not doing that. But ever since I watched Harry Potter, I was like, man, it'd be cool to have a messenger owl like that. You know, my own Hedwig to be able to fly around, deliver messages to people. And it'd be so much cooler than even texting someone, you know? Like, think about that. The next time someone wants to send you a message, instead of sending you a text, um, an owl just shows up on your front porch. That would be the coolest thing ever. So I'd rather own a messenger owl, even though baby otters are really cute. All right, last one. Would you rather kill someone you hate and get caught or kill someone you love and never get caught? Oh, I'd rather kill someone I hate and get caught because if I'm killing someone, I want to get caught because killing someone is terrible. If you kill someone and you don't want to get caught, then you are a terrible person. I'm just, I'm just saying. You are a really bad person if you don't want to get caught after that. You, you need to do a reality check and and kind of examine yourself in the mirror for a little bit and decide what kind of a human being you are, if you are a human being. So I'd rather kill someone I hate and get caught. Most people agree. Thank God. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Would You Rather. Hope you had fun. Hope you enjoyed it. We had some pretty good questions in this episode, some relationship-centered questions, so it ended up being pretty interesting. And uh, my wife's going to watch this later, and I guess that I'm going to get my judgment passed on me tonight or this evening. Every time you say tonight, when it's in relation to a relationship, people always, like, assume things. So that's not what I mean. Please don't assume things. <laughs> but you know what I mean. All right, guys. I like this video. And if you like this video, please leave me a like, because I would like that. Talk to me in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to stay happy. And, of course, I will see you next time. Hold on a second. We need to die. And get crap string of bull crap. It's just one long, wet, stanky string of bull crap. Gosh.